Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.8 and my stock career mode. Anyway, what we've got here are two contracts. We need to do temperature in space flight above the moon and rescue Dottie from orbiter of, of the moon. So we'll just send a spacecraft to rescue Dottie that has a thermometer on it and then we'll do the business. We've got the solar panel, everything else is fine. Did we ever get the skipper? We did get the skipper. Well, I think I can replace uh, this mess down here with the skipper. On the side. To lower the... No, they're just a... Uh, uh, they were actually supposed to be for landing on. Um, hold on, I'll show you. This this version is a little bit modified. Um, what it really is, is they're, they're supposed to add Delta V and serve as landing legs. <laughs> So uh, you can see here uh, we've got 2,590, that's not the vacuum, 3,128 uh, with those. If we just add this, it'd only be half of that. And it can land on them without the landing legs. And we have to do that because we only have a part limit of 30. So we can't use more than 30 parts, otherwise I would have put landing legs. So we started off with that, and then I took two off. Uh, and that's because I wanted to get the thermometer on. So yeah, that is the situation. Though uh, I think we could probably put those two back on since I'm gonna replace all these parts down here with a single skipper. And let me just verify that that's gonna... Eh, the thrust weight ratio is a little bit tight. I uh, could do with like two vernier thrusters, after all we can't control roll. But the thud is expensive for that purpose. You know, the poodle will be better up here, but it's too big because this is 1.875 meters. Hmm. We could just streamline this instead of, uh, so we could go straight to 1.25, uh, sorry, 2.5 meters and then use the poodle. Well, we should unlock the poodle anyway. Let's unlock all these things. So, right now we don't have enough TWR to get off the ground with the skipper. So either we put boosters on, or we add extra engines like the thud. The boosters would be cheaper probably. Well, yeah, probably. Needs a 820 and then we've got, well that kickback's pretty expensive and these don't need extra fuel tanks because they're just taking it out from these fuel tanks. One point two one, still barely enough to get off the ground. Um, and then there's this Pollux one. Well, it's expensive, but I'll unlock them. So this Pollux one is new, but it's huge. It's bigger than our rocket. Well, not not quite, but it's pretty pretty huge. So we don't need that yet, and it's expensive, obviously. The old kickback is still pretty big. I, I know I don't have the clamps on. We have uh, enough parts. Add some back. Yeah, I know. I, I'm uh, okay. So the reason I hate those is because they're not very efficient. 175 C level. I mean, it's possible, but do I want to do that instead of just using thud engines? Now, they have to last long enough for this to get to a good thrust to weight ratio, though. So... At least it'll get off the ground properly. Okay, that happens, that happens, those happen, that's alright. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, no Jeb. Mm, I'm a little bit worried about... We don't have roll control. Well, we do. We have the pods roll control. We have the reaction wheel. So I guess he'll be okay. How do you know how deep when you attach them radially? Attach which ones radially? The tanks? These tanks? I mean, it's just aesthetics. I usually don't want them getting in the way of the engine at the bottom. Yeah, it's mainly, I just don't want them getting in the way of the nozzle. 
so. Also, I mean, the, the, so the further out they are, well, there's a few things going on. Aesthetically, I, I don't want to really have them poking out more than this body diameter here. Just for looks. Um, if they're poking out more than that body diameter, it looks worse. So um, there's that. Um, also, but the, on the a flip side, the further you, out you put them, the better landing legs they serve as. Right? It's a more stable base. It's less likely to tip over. Not that tipping over is a huge problem in stock with the reaction wheels, but still. So you you want to sort of push the limits of aesthetics, you know, get them as far out as you can. And, but you don't want it to look awkward, basically. Okay. Here we go. That's not what I wanted to have happen, actually. <laughs> I probably should have... I'm so used to having the clamps released separately from the engines um, in Realism Overhaul because the engines take time to spool, spool up, but yeah, I keep forgetting that that's not necessary here. Mm, come on, come on, no, 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 no you don't. <laughs> this thing. If I had parts for, uh, if I had the part count to use fins, I would have put fins on here. Okay, we'll just coast. Well, we better get the antenna out before I forget. Oh, oh, no, 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 shut off. Oh, no! We lost communication. Gosh darn it, where's our commsats? Well, one's right there. One's right there. Communicate with it! What, what, why? Why is it not communicating? Got power. I put the antenna out. Five hundred K though. That seems to be more than five hundred K. Gosh darn it. This is very not good, especially since I made it more efficient. Yeah, we're not well, yes. We're going to another planet. <laughs> I don't know which one. It'll be... Moho? Maybe? But, but seriously, why? I guess it doesn't have enough range to communicate with that satellite up there. I think it's only 500,000. We need to fix that. I thought there was some combination between the two, but I guess it's only with the DSNs. Now it gets comms. Right after the burn finishes, it gets comms. But we can't do anything with Moho because we don't have communications out there. It's not gonna last. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll plot for it anyway. Why I lose comms so easily? Bad planning. Um, we need to update our commsats. Our commsats are a little bit iffy. Well, there's a Moho encounter, but it'll take nine years and we won't have any communication with it. Uh, a dead spot, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't think it was a dead spot because we have a satellite there. But it turns out to be a dead spot because our little antenna, while it has the range to communicate directly to the ground stations, doesn't have the range to communicate to there. Interplanetary science? Yeah, let's take a look at our tech tree. But it looks like I've unlocked things. I've already got the antenna here. I mean, these big relay, th that big relay antenna. But, you know, we have to actually carry an antenna that can communicate with it. So, that little commutatron's not good enough. We need, I think we need at least this dish. So we'll have to replace the commutatron with this one. Oh, interplanetary science, you mean? Um, I don't think we'll have communicate. Well, I guess we can see. Okay, well, let's first of all make sure we're not gonna get uncharged. 
two of the basic ones. Oh, uh, larger at antenna count, yeah. Well, we uh, I think we'll have some communication. We have 29% out here, so close call, but it'll work. This will be our first uh, data from uh, interplanetary space, and all we have is the thermometer. And we can only transmit it. Well, that's done. Hmm. Uh, that way, that's gonna burn off. I mean, not always a problem, but won't get in the way of the parachute, will it? Still don't have action groups yet. Uh, technically, I guess we could ditch the... Uh, I, you know, we might as well bring it back down and save some money. But we could put it on the service module down here and ditch it once the Kerbal is in, right? Or uh, when we're getting through the atmosphere. But you know... It's cheaper than having... So wait a minute. This, this version and then if we slap the two back boosters on here... Uh, not including the decouplers, uh, 22,950. But then this is cheaper. I guess we probably should just go with this then. It's ickier at the bottom, but cheaper is cheaper. As far as remote tech is concerned, all the antenna, I mean, if. If you're comparing to remote tech, what it means by omnidirectional, all the antennae here are omnidirectional. Um, it would appear that uh, that satellite is in the right location for this. Show the ability to configure action groups during flight. Um, I haven't got action groups unlocked yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can demonstrate probably none of the new features of KSP 1.8, except I guess the new ground textures. It is still early on. I do not have action groups unlocked. Uh, the VAB. Um, when we get the part count increase, we'll also get the action groups, I think. Yeah, Kerbin has new ground textures. Uh, so does the moon. Uh, the texture rendering is a little bit different, too. They've changed things a little bit. I don't know what that will do for, like, Copernicus. I mean, hopefully Copernicus won't have any problems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rare Nick was saying that there are significant differences in the DLLs. Though I don't know. Whoa, I did not mean to turn right then. Those UI? I, uh, hooks, I don't know what you want to call them, but um, why did they decide to do that? It is technical, yes. Is that because of a uh, different version of Unity? I was just looking at Unity versions today. I've got Unity 5.4 free and then Unity 2019. And Unity 2019 seems to be missing some things, <laughs> so... Um, not related to the UI, but uh, certain assets that I was used to seeing. First time watching a stream? Yeah, it's sort of a different experience. For this series, it uh, I thought it would help because I would get more a quicker feedback on what I might be doing wrong, uh, basically. So I don't have to wait for the YouTube comments to correct me. Save, save some time. Hold it there. All right. This vanilla, vanilla KSP. Yes, nothing, nothing special. No chocolate chips. Nothing. It's very slimming. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put the visual mods. I want to see what we can get away with as far as filling up the place and causing causing lag that isn't uh, caused by mods. Okay, but we do have to rendezvous with uh, Stranded Kerbal. Moon landing? 
Um, I, I don't know, we might do a Duna landing. I just want, I need to pick up a Kerbal and then uh, do some temperature scans for, wow, that's a pretty bad signal strength. Boy, we barely have enough for that Prawn 2 relay. Gosh darn it. Thought this antenna would be solid. Yeah, well, uh, we'll get close enough to the moon. We need to dip down to 7,000, 8,000 meters. I don't, I wasn't looking for a challenge. I was looking for a nice relaxing time. Also, enough has changed since the last time I played stock that I thought it might be worthwhile. Especially with the DLC stuff. What I'm concerned with is, um... I'm, I'm wondering whether there's going to be enough contracts for me to make money down the road to do really extreme things. That's why I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about that. Especially since I'm in hard mode and they, it doesn't pay that well. I mean, can I do... Can I build ridiculous space stations? Will there be good contracts for that sort of thing? I don't know. Tourists? Well... I, in my experience, tourist contracts aren't very lucrative, but... Maybe down the line they are, I don't know. Monitoring my memory, oh well, yeah. Uh, but I think, it must have paged some out, because it's only using 1.7 gig right now. Firefox is using 2.2 gig. Maybe, yeah, maybe it collected a bunch of garbage, because it's 1.7 gigabytes right now. It does. This is just task manager, nothing... Not to like mem whatever it is. Rimworld playthrough. I I don't think. When you say playthrough, how long exactly do you think that my characters will last in Rimworld? <laughs> Frame rate uh, freeze issue. Yeah, that that's good. But it's somewhat academic if no mods can be updated. Uh, because of the UI issues or something. You would watch RimWorld? Well, I'm gonna make you a character in it and you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, the tech to show the time to apoapsis. The tech? Uh, oh, uh, unlock tracking station. Mm. Yeah, unlock tracking station. This is where having a whole lot of patch con bites. That's after a year. <laughs> And there's another one here after a year, and then there's this green one here after another. So after a year, we would pass by a few times. So what that means is, do we go on escape and then come back and hit it? I don't know. We should have communication at periapsis. So uh, the moon textures. Yeah, I would certainly say so. I've got the scatter on, so we've got little boulders and such. But otherwise, even the textures themselves are far more developed. Yep, rescue missions are good. Free Kerbals. You can't beat free Kerbals. Warms your Kerbal heart to save them. Whatever. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a filthy capitalist. I, It's all about the money here. Back to watching the textures. They still don't give us target information. I should start a YouTube channel. Might be too late for that. Almost lost power there. Oops, wrong thing. 
I recorded a realism overhaul video earlier, and so now I'm conditioned to much longer burn times. <laughs> like, I was doing RCS burns in order to rendezvous. Why don't I have... Well, ask them! Why aren't all the other people here? How am I supposed to know? Lazy? I didn't re realize watching a Twitch channel require was like work. Maybe watching me is like work. But possible. I mean, I have trouble. I can't keep up with Twitch streamers because I'm recording videos and streaming. So it makes it a little bit inconvenient. I would love, I would love to be able to watch Twitch streamers while I'm streaming and making videos, but it just doesn't work out. <laughs> I don't think under anybody actually understands KSB. Maybe Scott Manley, but... I don't think the rest of us understand KSB. It's like quantum mechanics. Oh, that's more than I want. Oh, whatever. Get out of here. An engineer. I never get a pilot. Crazy comm network? Yeah, well that's... I mean... The art of a comm network... Yeah, is to use very few satellites to get the job done. It's... Trivial to launch a whole bunch of satellites in very nice patterns. That's, that's actually not hard. Um, but... The trick is to get full coverage or very close to it with just very few satellites and be efficient about it but you know it's always nice to see the patterns you can if all you want to do is make a comms uh, network um, you can do some really fancy stuff all right oh I'm going too fast ah okay Board. so we need to be Altitude above 8.0. Oh, it's above. Some of them are... No, they're all above. So that's okay. So I, I do, but I'm pretty select about who gets to be on it. We needed the Kerbal first, because otherwise we don't have the a way to reset the thing. Okay. Oh, actually, I guess we can reset the experiment now. All right, that, that works. Yeah, entering that. Okay. All right. Werner's Sanity. There is a place name for you. Are we over it? Okay, yes. All right. All right, so that completes things, right? Yes. Now we just have to bring Dottie back. We're in a highly inclined orbit, and we've got fuel to negate that, so I will. Okay, that's the end of that stage. I should have deorbited it. Oh well. Could have gone a little bit suborbital to dispose of it. We can leave now. Dispose- well, yeah, that too. But we, we didn't really, we weren't connected to it in a way that we could easily dispose of it. We'll need the claw to do that business, unless I just want to go into the, you know, into the tracking station and get rid of them. Penalty? Nope. I mean, unless you accidentally kill somebody, of course. You can't, you know, remove missions that have people on them. But no, there's no penalty. There's no cost. You know, they should, probably should have implemented that, not to mention it. Having it cost a little bit to uh, remove debris, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It should be a difficulty setting, of course, that you can turn off, but... Okay. Headed back. 
No, well, we're probably still in the dark. Yep. After this, we'll take a look at getting to Duna. Dottie can't really hold retrograde here. We'll see if that antenna is sufficiently covered. Blasted all over the landing site. Oh, you're uh, you're you're doing life support. That's bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, roughly the same area. Y yeah, that takes some doing. Whoa, this is that that felt fast. Why was it that that why did that feel so fast? And it's still shaking. Recover. Explore Eve. Not Duna? Let's see where Eve is. Retrograde Mark was in. Yeah, that would be bad. Eve's not in the right place. Eve needs to be behind us by 54 degrees for us to go to it. Next one up should be Duna. I'm just gonna time warp until. Look at all this debris. Uh, until we're uh, at the right window at this point. Planet flag up. Come on. We've already done this. I don't care. I'm going to Duna. We don't have a contract, but. Will that ruin the possibility of me getting a contract for Duna? If we already go there? That will, won't it? It's not only the cost of the boosters, it's also the cost of the decouplers. Which are like 700 a pop. And then the nose cones. They're 320 a pop. People miss that. People miss that when they advocate for boosters. As opposed to if you really want to increase the thrust weight ratio here, you could just slap two of these on. And that's just really a better idea. Well, we're gonna need a bigger antenna for Duna. Still, the annoying size. Let's see if we have just one antenna. Maybe we don't need any. I mean, we gotta have a Kerbal. Is there any good reason for us to actually have an antenna if we have a Kerbal? Well, I don't know if you need an antenna if you have a Kerbal in RO either. Landing on Duna? Yeah, I might need some extra parachutes for that. Um, what kind of Kerbals can repack parachutes? We'll need more solar panel re feel. Well, it might need to be one of the originals because I don't have any new pilots maybe we can hire a new pilot another expensive look at that 246,600 engineers can repack hmm we probably need extra parachutes anyway LKO test yeah I could do an LKO test of a lot of things but where's the fun See, the parachutes have to be able to carry all of this, so we can't can't skimp on those. Probably tuck them in a little bit more. Oh yeah, repack on the runway. Oh, can't put four of those. All right, well let me redo symmetry on these then. Oh, there is a desymmetrize thing nowadays, isn't there? Does anybody know what the button for that is? If that's the case? Hmm... The part count partly, but um... N not so much mass as I don't know whether it's necessary or not. Because it's a big antenna. We have to use one of these, and it's like... Where am I gonna put it? And do I really want to... I mean, ultimately, it's just, uh, it's just an ugh factor. Well, I'm gonna call this Smurf D. If we have to rescue Dorori, at least we're not using life support. <laughs> Let's go!